Hive you want to tell them TGIF. It's Friday. How are you all doing, TJ? Having a fantastic Friday ahead. Today I'm back with another devotion through this book, Grace for Today. One minute devotions. Let's begin. So the day is February 10th, and it says, Trust in God. February 10th is right here, and it is trust in God. Like that one, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this wonderful day you've given us. I just pray that you speak through me, and we'd all have a wonderful weekend. I just pray that the viewer on the other side of the screen will get something out of this message, and in Jesus' name, amen. Let's begin. Trust in God. Let's begin. Trust in God. As for me, I watch and hope for the Lord. I await for God my Savior. My God will hear me. Micah, chapter 7, verse 7. Some people look at the stars or consult fortune tellers in order to see their future. However, trustworthy these methods seem, they cannot help us handle the unknown. The only way in which we can be filled with confidence about the future is believing in God. When you are facing a problem and doubt tries to take a hold of you, this is when Jesus comes to you saying, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Matthew chapter 14 verse 27. Christ himself will bring you peace of mind. Here's a prayer we can pray. Loving Savior, I praise, place myself completely under your control. For I know that I am alone that you alone can guarantee my peace of mind. Amen. Let me read that again. Loving Savior, I place myself completely under your control, for I know that you alone can guarantee me peace of mind. Amen. Trust in God. Sometimes we don't know the future, but we have to trust in God. God knows our future. He knew our future before we were born. Before we even stepped on this earth, God knew our future. Trust in God and he will give you a peace of mind. Don't worry about what the future holds. Because God will be right there with us every step of the way. Guiding us. It's easy to be uncertain about the future, but with God, we can have confidence that he knows where we are going. We can trust and follow him, and our future will be bright. I know a lot of people do tarot card readings, go to fortune tellers, palm readings, to see what what the future has in store for us. But that's not for me. As a true authentic Christian, I look to God and let God guide my future. Here's a song. Where you will lead me, Lord, I will follow. Where you will lead me, Lord, I will go. Come on and lead me, Lord, I will follow. I will go, I will go. Where you will lead me, Lord, I will follow. Where you will lead me, Lord, I will go. Come on and lead me, Lord, I will follow. I will go. 
I will go. Hold on a minute. As I was saying, sorry, this just dropped. As I was saying, we don't need to worry about the future. God has it under control. God has it. Some people look at the stars or good source. Can, Consult fortune tellers to see their future. However trustworthy they, as these methods seem, they cannot help us handle the unknown. The only way in which we can be filled with confidence about the future is believing in God. When you're facing a problem and doubt tries to take a hold of you, this is when Jesus comes to you, to you saying, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Matthew chapter 14, verse 27. Christ himself will bring you peace of mind. So remember, if you're worried about the future, pray about it. And let God guide your future. And may your future be bright, happy, and help you get a, get a peace of mind. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch us. If you want to watch my other devotion videos, I'll link the playlist in, in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. And take care. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you back tomorrow for another devotional video. I'm looking forward to it. Bye. Blessings to you all. God bless TGIF.